Hey guys, it's Yasha here, aka F9, and I just wanted to do a short message that I've been coming up with for like the last couple of days. You know, I come across scryings, I scry a lot, um, I get in tune with certain crystals that may pop up to me in like a dream or, you know, an actual life, and I connect with like animals, usually birds a lot. But lately I've been kind of diving deeper into like animal spiritual totems and getting meanings when I have specific dreams and kind of just filling out that energy and then, you know, just giving it that information on to you guys. So for like the last couple of days, I've been kind of in like a whale energy. I've seen like a whale. I see whales everywhere for like for like the last two days. I've been seeing whales everywhere, whether it's like in scryings and in water or if I come across like a specific video that has to do with like whales and the seas and um, I'll come across pictures like in random places of like whales and of like also sea life. So I've been trying to like, you know, let the, the, like, I'll ask spirit, like, if this is for me, I know that's, that these messages are for me, but if they're, like, for the public, you know, for my subscribers, for people who come across any videos I do, then you'll let me see whales or whatever spiritual animal or color or crystal um, in abundance, you know, like, just out of the blue, every time I turn around, I'll see that specific energy, but um, anyway, I have a message nonetheless. I came across this painting here that you guys see. Uh, I'm not really sure who the artist is, so if the artist comes across this video by chance, definitely reach out to me because um, I completely just like scribed the entire shit. Like I literally looked, you know, I felt connected to this painting in, in a crazy way. And so I was just like, I have to scry this I have to, there's a message in this I can feel it um so the message that I got from this picture and if you have the power in scrying then you can scry right along with me and place whatever you see in this photo in the comments box below but if you like the message I got it could be the same if we're on the same frequency but I'm not sure who this message is for but um it may be for someone when I looked at this picture it may be geared towards divine masculines and feminines um, who may have lost a baby, um, lost a child, and um, I see a child, I see like a loss of a baby, but I'm starting to feel a deep now, but this message is definitely for if you're a divine feminine and you know, you had a child, you were once pregnant and you either had like a miscarriage or, you know, you chose not to to stop that life, you know, have aborted pretty much is what I'm saying. Or maybe you, some of you have actually had the birth, went through the birthing process and had like a newborn or got, you know, if you had like a toddler or whatever. If you had a child and the child is no longer here with you um, on this planet, on this plane, I want you guys to know that I did have a message come in from this picture, you know, alone that the baby is protecting you and your divine counterpart that you conceived this child with. Um, I'm seeing, you know, a man covering a baby. I see, you know, God, an angel, a beautiful angel coming and blessing, you know, a baby and making this baby, you know, kind of just like leave this planet for the purpose of protecting you and your loved ones, I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing that for the a small Minority of you guys, particularly divine masculines, maybe you guys have lost a father figure of some sort of in your life, a brother, something. But I'm getting like the masculine is dealing with losing a masculine or, and or possibly a child. It could have been a boy child as well if it was for like a divine masculine. For anyone who resonates with this energy. I'm just throwing out as much energy as I feel at this point. Um, now that I'm actually recording it, it's kind of just like coming out like, water. I'm, I'm feeling more intense um, energies coming around me. So I'm just reaching for whatever comes through at this point. I wrote it down, but like lately, I don't even have to look at what I wrote down. It's just coming out fluidly at this point. But um, this, I, they, Spirit wants you all to know that 
whoever this baby is, the child, the, the father, the, the, the son, the brother, uncle, whomever, this energy is currently on the other side and they are protecting you in the best of light. Nothing dark can touch you fully, can take over your life to put you in any more lower vibrations. You are pretty much under light and you're spiritually protected by this childlike youthful energy. Um, this innocence of the light of the child itself, I'm hearing, is protecting you greater than if it actually was an adult. Um, there's also a woman, I, I feel also a womanly energy that is protecting you all from witches on the other side. Um, so this is what this feminine goddess like energy could be. I'm hearing it could be a grandmother, an aunt, a mother. Um, for some of you guys, a small portion of maybe like I'm hearing three of y'all. It could be for a mother that's on the other side um, with this child as well, protecting her life. It's like a, I, I feel a matriarch figure and a patriarch figure, possibly from y'all guys, is like ancestors that are protecting you. Um, for me, I'm hearing my grandmother and my grandfather, great grandmother, my great my grandfather is protecting me and you know that could be for some of y'all as well but either way you're being protected there are a lot of dark entities at this time that is trying to get through to us of those those beings of light they're they see that the veil the veil is very thin also and they're trying by any way it's possible to get closer into our orc fields to pretty much shut us down and you know keep the veil over our head about the power that we're all coming into um, if you are psychic, if you're clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, um, telepathic, whatever it is that you are, you know, if you're a reader like me, if you're a healer, whatever medium of those is psych of psychic abilities that you have, they're going to try to decrease that as much as they can by trying to bring you down in lower vibrations and especially with your emotions and things of this third dimension um, and Right now, we're just all so powerful. It's, it's not going to happen at this point. That's a fact because we're being so protected by this light from this childlike energy. But it's also a time for everyone to kind of just accept it, forgive it, have faith, and not have fear anymore. And I think that's pretty dope. I really do. Like, But um, what else do I have here for you guys? Um. The channeling I'm hearing of the parent, the parent or the father of this person or the child that's on the other side guiding you with the light, um, they're also here to help us all with um, downloading ancient wisdom, secrets, as well as our ancestry, getting us in tune with our ancestry, our ancestors, like where we came from, language, art, whatever. We're coming into our natural forms right now. And... They're here to pretty much guide us with that healing, love, energy, and support. Um, what else? Also, with the dark beings that we're being protected from, not, also, not only do they want to get into our fields, our high vibrational fields, and tear them down, tear down our structures, you know, a lot of us have been going through transitions and tower moments, and we better believe like there are dark entities that are like awaiting outside of the light, going to try to get in and tear that down further. So they don't want us pretty much the way that the earth is going. We're going, we're headed towards new earth, and with that being said, being towards new earth, you either, you know, if you're a being a being of light at this time. The dark energies are pretty much trying to deter us from getting either to New Earth and and those who seek internal paradise, I'm hearing, um, dark demons are trying to tackle that as well for us. So the only thing that we can do right now is be of love, light, forgiveness, accept our fates, uh, realizing that this is our journeys. Like All of our journeys are individual, and this was all, everything that we go through, Every test that we've been going through lately, we are going to accomplish them with grace. Um, what else? We're also being told to meditate near waters. If you live near beaches, meditate near the beach. You know what I'm saying? I see beach here. I see sands. I see 
you know, tides coming in, new opportunities are coming in for us with new ties, you know what I'm saying? New people in our lives, you know, we'll be accomplishing more peaceful energy, calming energy, uh, when it comes down to our emotions. And, you know, I also want to start getting into the well energy. Um, we're all getting into this well energy. We all have to, I'm hearing the best way to actually embrace this well energy is to have spiritual baths, if you can, this weekend. Very calming um, baths. I hear if you have turquoise, drop turquoises and other blue crystals. If you can, if they're not a soft mineral, drop them in your spiritual bath as well with different herbs of protection and such. But this will, in, um, in fact, make the well energy stronger. Um, I want to talk about the well energy now. Well energy, well energy. Okay, so now I would like to talk about the well energy Pretty much the properties I've came across when it concerns well energy. Um, and I'm sure like a lot of you guys will relate to these well energies as well. Um, well energy, it represents emotions. Um, it represents your emotions, your great physical and mental healing. Um, communication, it focuses mainly on your throat chakra, allowing you the ability to focus on your throat chakra even or even being aware that you need to clear mental block, I mean, blockages overall from your throat chakra when it comes to bettering your communication with yourself and with other people. It allows you to actually hear your inner voice and be able to decipher whether the, the inner voice that you hear is of light or of darkness, you know what I mean? It's, it helps us connect with the balance of our heart and our mind. Uh, Realizing it, uh, well energy helps us realize the impact that our emotions have on our everyday lives and how it just genuinely um, affects ourselves and other people and the way that we communicate with other people and, you know, how our emotions impact how we progress when we do things in life concerning, you know, work or work on ourselves, relationships, just that factor, which is an awesome thing to come in tuned with because I've been seeing a lot of tweets lately about just being able to master the power of controlling your emotions, your reaction to things and people, you know, even when it feels like your back is against the wall and well energy will help us be able to balance out our heart and our minds enough and, you know, follow our, our truth and follow our instincts and our love for ourselves and, just pretty much follow our heart and have so much compassion for ourselves and our heart and treat ourselves so well that we'll be able to treat others well because we'll be fully aware of how we treat ourselves and other people. We're becoming in we're coming into a time where we'll be able to understand the true importance of family and um we'll be wills are usually the keepers of time and history. Uh wills assist us with our emotional rebirth, if all of us is going through a rebirth right now, as far as like the tower realms and all that jazz, and it allows us to become strong, but in a, a strong, a strength in the sense of being peaceful and gentle with our strength, not being so aggressive, not being on one side, one sided in our masculine energies, we'll be able to balance out our masculine and our feminine energies and come to a pace of a place of peace. You know, having patience, being strong, not knowing, like, realizing that we don't have to be aggressive in, or perceived as aggressive and obnoxious when it comes to our strength. Like, you can be graceful with uh, uh, attaining your strength. And well energy also allows us to have a peek inside the spiritual realm as well. As far as, like, ancient wisdom, like, wells are the one of the eldest animals on this planet. And they are li like literally the keepers of time. Like through whales, we could probably keep up with time, you know, and you take that for what that's worth. But um, I've also, let me see what else with whales. Whales assist us in becoming more in touch with our reality. 
those in tune with whales become more nurturing and motivated about their goals in their life and how to get there in a peaceful, strength-like, nurturing, motherly manner. Uh, those with whale energy are ready to deal with life's physical and emotional pressures. I've jotted down, remember that pressure makes diamonds and therefore you are ready to let go and move on and leave a situation in the past and, and have the peace peaceful mind the peaceful endurance to know that it's okay to let go it's okay to be patient it's okay to understand that everything won't be understood it's a time of coming into forgiveness and acceptance because if we can't accept things for what they are if we can't forgive things and let our hearts be you know with one of the universe with god then how in the hell can we get new blessings how can we open new doors if we can't close old ones the ones that we have we can't open the lock is there anymore it's like you walked into a room and forgot that you had a door that you went through that's a slam lock on it and you close it and you just can't get in at this point you're just stuck in limbo between that door and the door across from it that's already unlocked and open for you it's like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do but i jotted down a couple of questions that. I also ask myself, and I feel like also sharing this with you guys as well, if you jot down the answers to these questions, I'm sure that you'll have more clarity and you won't stop writing. I encourage everyone to write these questions that I, can't, that I you know, sought out and to ask yourself these questions, answer them, and you figure out where life is going to be for you right now how to handle your situations in a better way, how to understand everything you're going through. You know, in my Libra video that I last did, as far as our weekend light energy, like what our energy will be like for this weekend, it's literally us trying to figure out ourselves. You know, we're understanding ourselves so that the, like we won't take life on here on earth as seriously anymore. We won't be stressed out. We won't be trying to, Look like we can handle all. We won't be in our egos anymore. You know? We'll be personable. We'll be more authentic. We'll be less stressed. When it comes to pleasing others, the only people we want to please at this point are ourselves. Okay? So let me show you guys these questions. Okay, so these are the questions that I asked myself. I asked myself, number one, where am I right now in life? Number two, what actions and emotions have led you to this point in your life? Number three, what is peace to you at this moment? Number four, what steps, oh yeah, and what steps can you make to alleviate your unrest and chaos in order to find this peace that you want? So if you guys just like pretty much ask yourself these questions, I believe that this will greatly open more doors for you to get to know yourself, learn your situation, learn your lesson, connect with the angels around you, the God within you, and yeah, I encourage everyone to also carry angel lights, and let's see, angel light I'm carrying with me, and my blue quartz crystal, both blue, you know, both symbolize things that I believe will help us get over this hurdle that we're currently, you know, facing Okay, so angelite crystals, um, they're really good for astral travel. They enable astral travel. If you had any blockages before with astral travel, then um, angelite is definitely a great crystal to go to sleep with in order to um, get serious about lucid dreaming and therefore being able to astral travel. It assists with your throat and your third eye and your crown chakra. And it also raises the vibrations around you and it represents peace and helps you contact your guides easily in order to connect um, with your higher self. It enhances your psychic healing, your emotional healing, physical healing. It strengthens telepathy with yourself, your guides, and with other people. It is one of the most powerful stones for healers. Like if you decide to be a healer today, then you probably should go grab your angelite. It um, protects your um, either body, different, uh, everyone has different, there's something like seven levels, seven bodies outside of your third dimensional body and, and angelite protects them. It helps you speak your truth, 
It dispels any fear, anxiety, and anger. It aids with your birthing process as well. But it's a also a stone for compassion, transmuting your pain and disorder to a feeling of wholeness and it heals strengthens your organs is usually used by creative people you know people who are into the arts want to paint want to focus on their spiritual ascension as well Uh, and like I said you know it helps with your inner guidance system and converts your fear into faith so for any of you guys that's been feeling you know connected with the baby blue definitely go out and get you some angel light and here we have blue quartz is also a good crystal to have too. Blue quartz is a crystal that protects you from all forms of negativity. It dispels negative energy. If there are people who are very jealous at, with you at this time, it protects you from them. Any negative telepathy that you might try to attach itself to your etheric body, it's it brings on more peaceful vibes, it calms you, it protects you from any situation. Many use it to cleanse their aura and clears the aura around people as other people that you surround yourself with too. It clear, clears the toughest blockages from your body. Like for example, I've been carrying blue cords with me along with angelites, uh, lepidolite, and pyrite because I just, for me personally, I want to be able to clear any blockages when it comes to getting more in tune with my higher self and connecting more with my psychic abilities and as well as like any blockages that has anything to do with abundance and my fortune, you know? But blue quartz, it clears those blockages. It's, this crystal also helps you with astral travel. Um, a lot of us has been astral traveling and we don't even, we're not even aware that we astral travel just because we aren't in tune with like lucid, dreaming or starting to know that we are in control of dreams both on this realm in this realm and your spiritual realms um blue quartz yeah. blue quartz is great for your third eye working with descended beings and bringing clarity to visions it makes one more responsible it aids with self-discipline in yourself and enhances your communication between your upper and your lower chakras Blue quartz also enhances your immune system and encourages proper function of your lungs, your heart, your throat, and your eyes. And blue quartz is associated with Libra and Taurus, therefore it's probably definitely more than likely a stone for your Venus, the planet Venus. And it definitely probably helps communication when it comes to the people that you are in love with, that you are in relationships with. It helps forgiveness having forgiveness for those who've done you wrong or you've done wrong and all of that. And like I said, you know, it's your throat chakra crystal. Um, I believe angel light is a Aquarian crystal too. If any of you guys are interested in like astrological signs and quartz and um, just that. But... Yeah, that's pretty much the message that I have for you guys tonight. If it resonated with you, thanks so much for your support. And I'm so grateful that it resonated with you. And, you know, if any of you guys want a personal reading, just feel free to contact me. My email is in the description box below. Uh, And definitely like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Give this a thumbs up if this helped you out in any way. Because the more likes I get, the more people will be open and will see messages like this and connect. You know, that's the goal is to help people with their ascension and open up the eyes of people you didn't even know could connect with shit that I do, you know? So once again, guys, thank you so much for your support and your love and your loving words and all of that. It's been nothing but positive energy. And I pray for the best for you. Enjoy your weekend.